so today I'm going to show you how to do um, a very simple t-test on the Excel um, in Mac so um, before um, I record this video I have two groups um, created uh, numbers already the group A and group B and the way I'm going to do t-test here is um, I have to hit um, any any cells and uh, I need to enter in the formula bar equal t dot test and then you'll give you some hint um, so here I put array one and then I will put the array two and then here comes um, two tricky parts so one is the um, the form of the tails and the fourth um, is the type so about the tails um, usually we'll use two tails test in most of our statistical tests um, however um, really depends on your purpose but um, kind of our default mindset is to use the two tail test and here comes the most tricky part is there's several types of t-test including pair t-test or just regular t-test and, uh, um, and how to determine this kind of type you can hit you can click the t-test and here comes with the instruction and uh, so here talk about the tails and here talk about the uh, different types so if you are just using non-pair test and uh, if you assume that the two samples they are equal variance you can just equal to and I would say this is the most common way of doing the test in most of the um, cases and however if you want to use a pair test um, you have to use um, 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 you have to put one therefore I put two here and this cell will give you the p-value so here the p-value is 0.0078616 so that's the result and uh, and uh, so if you want to do a little bit more test and you can see we can play around for example I'm going if I use a one tail test um, it will give you a totally uh, a different um, result. So, um, so basically, um, such as if I come back and use a pair test, it will give me a different result too. Okay, so hope you enjoy this lesson and hope you um, can learn how to quickly um, do this really simple way to do t-test on Excel. In